Hello, hello, my dear friends. Uh, welcome to my channel. And so you probably noticed that for a few uh, days I uh, did not respond on some of your comments. Unfortunately, I was unable to do so and I also didn't have my videos from uh, Forex uh, because I was on a cruise, okay? And uh, so I had a wonderful cruise uh, from uh, Barcelona uh, uh, around uh, some European countries on the Mediterranean Sea. So that I will show you later after I will edit all my videos, okay guys? So I am just uh, returned from the cruise and uh, on my way to Saratov, my hometown. But before that I have a few hours in Moscow. As usual, you know, <laughs> before the flight. So today I'm taking a train. And um, so usually before, uh, between the flights it's very little time. Today, I, because it's a train, I have about three hours to run around. And uh, I decided to take you in one of the pretty places uh, which is is my lover and uh, there is a beautiful Kremlin here look at that so I thought I wanted to show you a little bit of uh, old uh, Russian fairy tales so what uh, old Russia used to look like you know during those uh, uh, Tsar times usually you see my videos um, from USSR times, communism, uh, these days and uh, today I thought uh, while I have a chance I will run to this place and show you a little bit of historical uh, old Russia. I mean this is not really uh, much of the historical place, it's a reproduction but uh, it's, uh, it shows, uh, represents um, old Russia quite well. Okay, so what uh, it kind of used to look like. The wooden buildings, uh, beautiful uh, wooden houses and of course the Kremlin. You probably feel that uh, uh, Kremlin when you say, when I say that, that it is a um, uh, red square Kremlin, but uh, no it's not. Uh, old Russian towns were surrounded by uh, walls and uh, these kind of towers uh, and uh, they also called Kremlin. So this is a very beautiful one. Let's uh, browse around a little bit and I'll show you and uh, tell you a little bit uh, what uh, what it is, <laughs> okay? So you can see the uh, these pretty wooden buildings. Well, um, we actually in Russia like to call them like Tiremok <laughs> from uh, kind of a little bit of fairy tale. And uh, the Kremlin, as you can see, this is what uh, kind of Kremlin looks like. It's like a tower, but uh, very pretty with, uh, um, well, these uh, this shapes. And uh, of course, uh, you can you have, well, like Fluger. I hope it's correct in English. Yeah, the, uh, when uh, the wind blows, you know where it blows. Okay, so north, south west, east. Uh, very popular is uh, to have on uh, uh, the end of uh, the towers uh, to have a cock. Okay, so that's like quite popular uh, thing, especially uh, we have fairy tales with it. So you can see this is uh, some uh, of representation of uh, the style, design of the houses uh, built uh, in those uh, old days. So we have a little bit of the view of old church. Um, I'll try to go there, I don't know if I can. If it's open, I'm not sure because I came, it's about 10 o'clock, it opens from 10, but some days it's not open. And look at this beautiful Kremlin, this is really, really pretty. I'm also first time here, also seen it only <laughs> on uh, the pictures. So let's see uh, what, uh, uh, let's have a little bit closer look. Okay, and here, as you can see, they have some uh, quite popular Russian souvenirs and uh, matryoshki and uh, fur hats and fur coats and also some other stuff. So, uh, this is because a uh, quite touristy area. Okay, guys, look at this. We are through the main entrance. Wouldn't you really like to live in something like this? I kind of think so, you would really. <laughs> because it looks so pretty, look at that. I would really love to live in something like this. Oh dear, look at these little uh, cannons and uh, uh, pretty uh, tops, the roofs. So, so nice. Little uh, balcony out there with uh, the stairs and uh, uh, we're also there. I can't see we're gonna get a little bit closer. So just look at that uh, From here if you have never seen this the, You can see now. I think that is like really really pretty Here we go Here we go a little bit closer look on it. Look at that Isn't that very very pretty 
it's uh, that's what it's a uh, typical uh, old Russian style of the houses okay so well I guess where uh, Tsar would be living in like you know before Peter the first say those days so nice okay so and uh, as usual typically right we would have some arches up there uh, on uh, the towers and uh, the main entrance would be of course as usual for the main gates they, they would they supposed to have also arches here but uh, I guess uh, I'm too early uh, and uh, they're not today and uh, this is um, the old uh, yard okay uh, again representation so and look at this that is so beautiful okay so um, this must be the palace the um, uh, old type of uh, the, the view kind of like what is you see the, the wood how the, the big um, the, the big woods it built okay and uh, I'm going to try to find some more information about it, really. So, so that must be the uh, main building, I would think, like, yes. And, of course, uh, which is surrounded, as you can see, by uh, the also pretty <laughs> uh, towers and uh, the walls. But, of course, um, the main thing would be right in the middle, like uh, the old... Um, way of building and uh, founding the well, small towns and towns will be of course starting with the church okay so uh, this is what kind of the old wooden churches would uh, look like so it would be right in the middle and uh, everything else would be built around it okay so uh, that's the view of the old wooden church so cool right and you can see all the other things also you can see the balconies the wooden ones okay some more the tower and uh, uh, the, this would be the main entrance okay so let's just uh, have a little bit closer look of it and then I'll just walk a little bit further a little bit dark today, see there is no sun, in, in sun it looks extremely amazing with all the colors and well you can see here is St. Nicholas Orthodox Church so it must be um, in service let's uh, see if I can have a look what uh, it looks like inside okay we have a kitty black kitty please don't cross my path <laughs> It decided not to. It wanted first, but then it decided not to. It's not completely black. Yes, I'm a superstitious person. I do believe in those superstitious Russians do really believe in a lot of, lot of superstitions. We believe that black cat, if it crosses your path, it's uh, some kind of bad luck. It's warning, okay, about something's going to happen. But usually when it appears from nowhere and then disappears, like runs fast and from nowhere and gone, Okay, a little bit again view from from the church. So a little balcony, so you can see it's a real wood. So nice. And uh, um, well, this one's uh, with nails, but um, used to build uh, uh, without uh, nails. Okay, um, look at that. Oh, the kitty wants the kitty wants to lead us. In, into that. Let's have a look a little bit. If I can actually do. Are they allowed to do the pictures? Kitty, you want to take me? You want to take me inside? Come on, little. Oh, oh yeah, this is like real one. Look at that. This is so beautiful. Okay, I'll just do a little bit from here. Okay. Okay. Well, this is the real, actually, working church and. Uh, <laughs> Obviously, I just came in and uh, the person who looks after it complained that 
I'm uh, have an appropriate dress. So if you really want to go in uh, the church, you know the Russian Orthodox churches, they do not really like when you go without your covered head. They don't like when you don't wear a long skirt. So uh, to be honest, I think it's all wrong because it just makes the young people to not go into the churches. Oh, I just know that. I used to go into the church, I used to do all of these right, do the services, but I saw young people uh, don't want to go into the churches because of the stricted rules and the older generation screaming at you and uh, it's a shame. Okay, what can I say? It's a very pretty church, so please guys, if you, if you, some of you would go in there, just cover your hair and make sure you know what you're doing inside the church. So, a bit upsetting that uh, I've been uh, <laughs> screamed at, but uh, let's just uh, enjoy uh, again the views. To be honest, I wish I wouldn't come inside, but uh, I turned it off so you wouldn't hear that. Okay. But the church is very pretty once again from here. It's very pretty. So it kind of looks like, yes, it's a walking one. It's open, it says it's open. And that reaction of the person in there uh, uh, is just unbelievable. And they want people uh, to go into churches after that. No, thank you. <laughs> so I stopped going into the churches, unfortunately, because of uh, that. Yes, I think that God is. Uh, watching us and he doesn't judge what you're wearing into in the churches uh, what what uh, you're doing is well as long as you're not doing anything bad i think it shouldn't be a, a problem of uh, what are you going in to the church okay so that was my opinion about uh, religion okay and this is the free heads dragon okay from the fairy tales. Yeah, we do have dragons, fairy tales, with three heads. There's always uh, one bogatir we call the strong man who will fight it. Okay. okay, that's the bit move you again from the church up to here. And uh, actually, here is a uh, vodka museum. Wow, look at this. You can have, look at this, 365 uh, reasons to drink vodka. We're going to have a look at it in a minute. What are those reasons? Uh, I don't know, they probably let you to taste it, I don't know. I think it's closed at this moment. Okay, <laughs> but you can go into the museum. And here is the place where you can get married. I think it's actually a real one too. I don't know now, you see? <laughs> it looks like real. If it's, is it real or it's not real? I don't know. <laughs> well, obviously, church ended up being a real, real. So, uh, this must be also real, real. Okay. And uh, something, I don't know, it's a Ministry of Joy. It says here. Okay. Okay, let's, let's check it out, this uh, reasons of drinking vodka. Okay. So. I don't I even want to go inside now. <laughs> I've been scared that I will be shouted at again. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, dear me. Ah, okay. So they do have like a different. Uh, okay, like the both the Schumacher <laughs> number three drink. If uh, you, you can celebrate the Bode Schumacher, okay. Uh, fourth, uh, Birthday of Isaac Newton. Oh, there is also like uh, Sherlock Holmes birthday. <laughs> okay, let's just see, is there anything, uh, anything interesting? What, um, uh, what kind of like, oh, so it's like it's a January, so it's in February, March, April, May. The, every month you have like, <laughs> every day, <laughs> every day reasons to drink vodka, okay. All, all uh, different. Is there anything interesting, really? I don't know. I don't know. It's just like all this uh, Moulin Rouge was opened, okay, in October the sixth, eighteen eighty-nine. So you can drink because of that. Um, well, there's all, all those different things, you know. Just like needs to be translations. So, okay, Napoleon entered Moscow like uh, eighteen twelve on September fourteenth. Oh, okay, you can even do like uh, Napoleon's birthday on the fifteenth of August or Elvis Presley sixteenth. So, well, okay, 
uh, really like uh, interesting stuff okay but uh, uh, we continue I think this is pretty much it uh, just uh, going a little bit around it from the other side to make a videos that's a pretty window and beautiful carvings on the win uh, on the doors look at this this is so pretty close the birds okay look at this also all the details it's very cool and of course the top okay that is really nice okay a little bit of more towers again the view from the inside and the main gate entrance because I can't really remember now after <laughs> after I've been Somebody screamed at me in the church. I can't even remember what I was making videos of and what I wasn't. So I decided to just like make a little bit more. I think I didn't walk around. Okay, let's just walk a little bit around on the other side. We're preparing for something actually. And, uh, just walking a little bit around again. And you see the all the uh, the art <laughs> of uh, building. Old Russian style buildings, Russian Russian design. The old style, I mean, like again, once again, old design. This is an old bell tower, also and the reproduction of. Oh, we're going through the tower a little bit. Oh, look at these doors again like this wood doors i don't know what's that let's just have a look see what's in there where does it take us i don't know ah okay another tower okay two towers actually wooden one and uh, not wooden one <laughs> okay i don't even know now what's this tower is it's just a tower tower i guess Okay, well it's like I come out from the main area, okay, and going into something else. Oh, I don't know what it is. Oh, that's why we saw it, like remember that peacock? Ah, look at this uh, windmill, old windmill. Nice. Oh, okay, so it's a little bit more view here. Okay, well, they do have a little bit more of souvenirs here. Well, I don't know, I would probably think they're not going to be very cheap, so I don't want to go down, but uh, I presume so. It's just a little bit. Oh, I imagine we're walking in there, okay. Okay, walking on one of the um, balconies, right? Of the wooden tower. So, windows. <laughs> Well, they have like it's a cafes here, shops, cafes, museums. So not quite interesting to explore. I think, especially if you have children, really uh, can do beautiful, colorful pictures here. So oh yeah, look, there's so many uh, souvenirs, lots of souvenirs in here. I don't know if you some if you, like ask me where to buy uh, not very expensive souvenirs. I don't even know what to say to be honest. They're pretty much expensive everywhere. Of course. If you go somewhere away from the tourist area, maybe you'll find it cheaper, but I can't really um, give you any ideas, I'm sorry. I don't visit uh, Moscow very often, guys, so, um, well, that's it. So, I think we kind of finished our walk. Now I have to go back to my train, okay, so I don't miss way back home to Saratov. Uh, I really would be nice to go to the windmill but it's a reproduction so I guess it's going to be the same you can't go in so it's just uh, a little bit of uh, the view of outside okay so still a little bit more there <laughs> just very nice kind of area to wander around and have a little bit of uh, um, imagination what 
are the old Russia used to look like. So I really liked doing this, walking around it. So, and uh, I hope you also enjoyed our walk. So, guys, uh, if you really like, don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, don't miss the other new videos, okay, from the cruise. I don't think I'm gonna make more videos from Russia now. So, but uh, videos from the world's biggest cruise line, okay? It's the Symphony of the Seas by uh, um, Royal Caribbean, okay? So, I hope you're gonna also enjoy to see a huge ship where you can have up to 6,000 people on board, okay? 2,000 staff and 6,000 uh, people, so uh, I hope you really gonna like it and uh, of course if you watch you'll find out which countries we're going to visit okay that's it guys uh, thank you for watching bye okay we're just look, walking through a little bit of the booths of souvenirs well obviously you can see they don't have any prices so uh, you have to ask and of course you have to trade okay just ask for discounts <laughs> try anyway you might have a luck okay so you have like a little bit of the prices so divide the prices divide by 67 69 it would be in dollars and by 80 would be in years This is like the woolly, woolly shoes, woolly boots. They are very, very warm. Real wool. You know, in the old days they used to look not very pretty, quite ugly. Oh, make them look really nice uh, for tourists. <laughs> oh, we can have chairs. Oh, this are really cute. I like to play chairs. So, really nice, interesting chairs. Okay, so like I'm saying, pretty much typical souvenirs. This is some pretty amber. clips like made uh, in the cochlear map. It's pretty uh, jewelry boxes, also quite popular. Souvenirs, really pretty. Ah, and ear earrings you can have, so. Okay. Okay, just as I'm leaving, a little bit of sunshine. You can see how beautiful the the gold on uh, the roofs. It's uh, it's shines. So that's what I'm saying. When during the sunny day, of course, it looks uh, so much more beautiful than uh, when it is cloudy because you do have the uh, the uh, flugers and the top of the towers. Uh, the gold uh, will be very very pretty and shiny. Well, the sun is gone again, <laughs> but I have to run. I have to run away.